Now, we actually want to get them to order some drinks, right? We want them to actually give us an order. And before we were using this slot that was holding their name, but we want to do more than just hold their name. We want to get their order. And so we're going to have to go back to intense list up here. We're going to go back a page and go down here to slot types. Okay, we're going to build our own slot type for our order because because this is a storefront or a you know menu that we're asking them to choose from, they can't just order anything. They can they have to order certain things off of our menu. And so those certain choices that they're gonna get will be listed here under slot types. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a slot type and it's gonna be a blank one, just so you can see how these work. And I'm gonna call this one drink type. Okay, so this is kind of like my variable. We don't know what they want, but we're gonna give them some choices and this will hold what they order. So I'm gonna go ahead and press and add that. Now, there are a couple ways to create slot types. Uh, one is where we expand and, and kind of let them use uh, any kind of word that they want to to order. But we're going to restrict our values because this is a menu. We only have certain things that we want them to type in and we're gonna prompt them to say, here are your choices, coffee, cappuccino, or tea. We're only gonna give them three choices because that's all we have on our menu. Um, but there are reasons that you'd obviously want different uh, options where it's more of an open-ended question like how are you feeling today and they could kind of have the freedom to answer however they want to right now we're not going to let them do that because we have a menu that we're after so the values that we are asking them to input are coffee and then over here we can basically accept a lot of different things if maybe they can't spell coffee exactly so we can say, maybe if they misspell it, C-O-F-E-E. -E. And I can t press the tab, and we can basically add in values that might match similar uh, to what they might type in. Coffee, coffee, those kinds of things, and then just regular coffee, though it will accept coffee. Um, and then I'll add a new value. I'll call this cappuccino. And we'll accept cap, we'll accept cappuccino, and we'll accept cappuccino with one P and two C's. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and add another value of T, and I'll call it T, T's, um, great, or I don't know, um, chamomile, if they just wanna order that and we can add those values. So these are the different slots that we're going to allow them to put in uh, as our variables. So once that's done, I can go back, I can press save slot type, make sure you save it. And now I can go back to my intent, my original intent, where I can go back into my order and I can create a new slot and call it drink type. Okay, so now we've got this one asking their name. And now I want to add a new slot. I'm gonna call it drink type. I am going to give it the custom slot type of drink type. And I can write here to say, uh, what would you like to order? A coffee, cappuccino, or tea? Okay, this way we give them specific options as to what they're doing. I can press add and I can go ahead and give them a new prompt at the end. Once all those have been fulfilled, I can write, great to meet you, John, your name, your drink type is on its way. Okay, even though it's not, um, obviously. I can press build and it will build again and then we'll test it again. Okay, now that my bot is done, I can press test. I can say hi to get started. Oh, it didn't work because it doesn't know what that means. I, uh, and that's actually a good point that whenever you don't have, it doesn't know what to do, uh, this fallback intent is fulfilled. What that means, it's gonna basically go back to another intent which says, I don't know what to do with this and I can build that out to say, sorry I didn't hear you or sorry I didn't understand what you meant. Can you type in something else? You know, So we can 
talk about that in the future here. But my utterance that I want to get this started was, I want a drink. Okay, great. Let's get started. First off, what's your name? John, what would you like to order? A coffee, cappuccino, or tea? Uh, let's see. I'll do a coffee, but I'll spell it wrong. Great to meet you, John. Your coffee is on its way. Okay, and it spelled it correctly because it's using the product name that we created for it. Okay, so in the next tutorial, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some more robust slots that we might add and kind of talk about the conversation flow a little bit more.